<laughs> shocked. Okay. Wow. All right, gents, you guys ready? Uh, oh, uh, sure. No, all right. All right. Perfect. All right, Moan. Act natural. <sighs> Act natural. Come on, man. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today on dun, dun, Attack. Dun, dun, dun. Absolute Threshold talks about catastrophes. Catastrophes. I had already forgotten. Jeez, come on, Jimmy, come on. Catastrophes. All right. What is a catastrophe? That's when something horribly wrong happens. Fail. Practice on the road, on the show, in the show, during the show, whatever you want to call it. Something happens that epically sure. goes wrong. What do you do and how do you fix it? Right, because that never happens in rock and roll, right? No, never. never, never. It doesn't. We just move on. No, it does. It's actually happened to us a number of times. Um, actually, I think to almost everyone in the band. Oh, yeah. I had never experienced it. Lies. What? <laughs> I'm perfect. <laughs> Jesus. When I can't recall anything if that's any. <laughs> but. Jesus. No, there has been. There's been actually one show in particular I remember. People were drunk, really drunk, and jumped off stage and went to go get shots for himself and beers. This was also the same show where someone's cab blew up on stage and we had no bass, which is normal. Yeah. <laughs> We're just a bass player. That was a grotto show, right? It was. Yeah. It was at right. Joe's Grotto. Yeah. yeah. It was a show we sounded our best ever at. Is it the bass blue? <laughs> oh. Ooh, dang, bird. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this was a, a big catastrophe, or could have been a potential catastrophe. But you know what? We persevered. It's a good word, Gavin. I like that word. We were talking about it before, and we finished the show um, pretty good. And yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah. Good time. So what ended up happening at that show is Ramon was able to actually get a brand new head to borrow from one of the other bands. He connected with one of those other bands. And who was that band? Who was that band? Chris. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. Chris, no, I didn't. They offered to do that. That's but it. as a bass player, we just DI'd in. You bass players know what I'm talking about. We DI'd in through the house system and played bass through there. So we didn't borrow a single thing from another band. But you did they offered. get the offer. Well, that's, that's cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> we're terrible at this. We're terrible. No, we're not. By the way, you know how many episodes we've done so far? Does anyone know here? Six. Besides me. Two and a half. Six. No. Five. You guys are all wrong. Seven? seven? Come on. That's right. Seven. seven. This is show number wow. seven. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I mean, appreciate we really you. appreciate everything you guys have done for us, watching this video, getting it out to the fans, getting it out to the public. And uh, I think it's awesome that people are sharing this. And we're actually getting more people to join us. And once again, if you want to be on the show, dude, hit us up. Love Get to have you. It's a community. That's right. And get on the show because, dude, we'd love to just talk to other bands and we'd love to figure out, like, what we can do to help you in the scene, you know, because it's tough right now. The scene is a tough thing to be in and we just want to help as much as we can. Why is it so tough, Ramon? Well, Gavin, that's a good question. <laughs> but as Chris always likes to say, maybe we should uh, save that for another episode. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh. You, you totally just politician that. I did. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, catastrophes. They happen to everyone. Um, you just got to make, make do with what you've got and work through it. So I, I think that's a big thing that we've, we've all had to encounter or deal with at some point. And, no, sorry. No, go ahead. No, I was just going to say there's a great, wonderful, hilarious story of Chris and yeah. it's, shit happens. I mean, whatever. But you laugh about it afterwards. You have some fun. Uh, it's, it's a good one, though. Chris, what happened? All right. This is <laughs> probably the biggest catastrophe I've ever had. Yeah, it's uh, not that bad. So we were playing a show at a venue in Tempe called Big Fish Pub. Big Fish Pub! Oh. So what ended up happening is we're, we're at like such an epic point of our song, As One. We're all really like 
fully fired up and getting ready to go into like the last part of the song in the so, zone yeah, we were probably using as one as as our closer at that time because it was our closer for years Sorry. and that was kind of early years so yeah, it's messing with the yeah. mic. It's okay. it, it was the last song of the night yep it was the last song of the night and i was just so pumped up i was fired up and we had a show the next night over at joe's grotto um, so what ended up happening is right before I rip into my riff that brings it back from the solo, I yell out, make some noise, Joe's Grotto and at Big Fish Pub. And, and it's totally silent. Oh yeah. It's yeah. silent. Uh, no, like, there were a couple of people like, like crickets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just owner. sitting there. I'm just like. <laughs> Let's go. You know, the, the owner of Big Fish Pub probably took that as a compliment that you mistaken their establishment for Joe's Grotto. That was the fucking shittiest place here in Phoenix. God yes, they damn. moved, and I don't even know if they're there anymore. They went out of business because it was fucking horrible. Well, that's they, did, they so went out of surprising. business, but then they started up Big, Big Fish, Fish Theater. So, But, but uh, that's not there anymore, no, right? No, it's not either. That, no. I think that, down. yeah, because they were going to do something over like Club Tazek, and then that kind of just... Right, fizzled. fizzled. It went down catastrophe. Right. Catastrophe. Yeah. So once again, catastrophe. You know, and that's another thing. Bringing up catastrophes. You know, we've played at some venues in Tempe, and they don't longer exist. Uh, I remember one. I cannot remember. Rocky the Point Cantina. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Rocky dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Green Gloss. Nine Ten Live. Yeah, Nine Ten Live nine. doesn't. It, well, it, it does. It's a still there. Club, right? It's a strip club again. So, uh, so it's cooler now. Whoa, whoa, who's, who's moving their stuff, man? I don't know. Sorry. Somebody's touching their cord, and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. Don't touch your cords. Don't touch your cords, but all right? Back to what you're saying. So anyway, yeah, so there's, there's venues that don't exist anymore, and it was because Chris of, hates tangents for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking Have hates cutting off cords. <laughs> Every he gets show. uncomfortable or something. <laughs> I don't know show. what it is. But uh, anyway, yeah, so we... <laughs> These places don't, don't exist anymore because they've encountered a catastrophe of, so, catastrophe catastrophe. of some sort. And... It's kind of sad because the venues are just dropping like flies, you know. But the new ones come out. New ones come out, but Donna are they Jeans. good? Are they bad? Uh, you Some don't of them are fun what to about play the, at. What about the biggest venue catastrophe here in town? Anybody? Uh, Seventh no. Street Sports Bar. Oh, oh man, that's a good point. That, that was, was a, that was a rough place. thing. No, that's I wouldn't say that. I would say it's a tragedy because I love that place. I love the people that ran it. You know, like. Jen and Rob were like, be like, yo, say, like, Jen they're awesome. Awesome. They, like, thank you guys seriously, so much. like, you you're, you're talking this, about like good people who like really cared about like cultivating a music scene. Like that, that place kind of became like the metal version of Cheers. Like sometimes yeah, you want to go, analogy. good you know? analogy, good analogy right there. <laughs> Where there's thrash Later metal, generation. Right, you know, but like, yeah, exactly. Sorry, kids. I know. What Look it up, Wikipedia. About. I know. What, right. what is he talking about? So yeah. youngins, but yeah, yeah no, the, the, I, over here. <laughs> I, oh man, I would only hope that they maybe come out with something later on. But yeah, like but that mean, was such a cool little spot. It you know? was, and, and I then, mean that was a disaster for not only them but the music yeah. community. Yeah. I mean honestly, because it was, everybody's it was, it was family bad. there. Yeah, and they mm-hmm. treated you as a musician. They treated you like family. And You're they the treated best. You with such respect, and it was it was great. This guy's crying. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> You were looking at me like, holy shit, he's crying. <laughs> but Good no, acting, like, man. Like, Good acting. Like to, be, like, to be honest, like, at that venue, we were treated like a band should be treated at every single other venue. They paid us to play there, and we didn't what? have to sell tickets. No. They paid us to like, play there. They that enjoyed never happens. having us no, there. Never. And the bar management actually came out and be like, they were like, you guys are awesome. They we would come. You they would come to our other out. shows, yeah, dude. They, yeah, they did. They Rob and Jen, I remember shows. specifically one time they came to our state fair show. Yeah, mm. that was fucking awesome, dude. With and they didn't threshold have to. shirts, dude. Yeah, and they, dude, they had absolute threshold shirts. It was fantastic, and it's just one of those things you don't find too many people out there that run a business like a bar or a music venue, and come out and support the local music scene like they did. They they, they just cared. That was a big thing. Right. They cared. It wasn't all about the money. It, yeah. They fucking just loved music and loved having bands play there regardless. I, guess. I could see other venues, too, get like just so big that it's hard to kind of cater to each band that gets Absolutely. there. Which, I, I mean, it's not exactly their fault sure. with it, but, I mean, it's just cool to have people start out that way. And I don't know. Yeah. And I don't think we said what happened, but it was a fire, right? 
Yeah. No, there was there was a lot of no, a number of factors, but a fire is kind of what started it, and then it led to some other things, which you know we don't want to go into detail. Stuff was burned kinda, up. Kinda, That's kinda, another factor. Oh, yeah, no, they, just, <laughs> they, they got screwed over. They Those got are good over. people that got screwed over. That's a good point. And then yeah. But Speaking of t-shirts, I don't normally wear like my own band's t-shirt because it's kind of a faux pas. <laughs> so I just want to go on the record, like yeah. <laughs> and but my band's t-shirt's wearing. cool. I mean, <laughs> they, they are available. <laughs> it's cool. Wait, right? No, 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 it's... no we're talking about hey. work shirts. You know, just cover up. The right. Here. Hey. I just got here from work, so I'm, I, I didn't want to wear my work shirt. A catastrophe happens. <laughs> catastrophe. <laughs> well, speaking of catastrophes, <laughs> I know we already talked about this once, but Gavin. <laughs> Broke his foot. Still black and blue. And uh, I can't do double kick. It really sucks because music's my outlet. So I'm frustrated. So I guess I'll vlog, right? KevinPHX.com. What? That's right. Check it out, man. Shameless plug. Do it. (laughs) Sound for you. Dude, the stuff that he's coming out with is amazing. And it gives you such great insight to Arizona as a state, you know. Come check out our state. And shit, while you're here, check out a venue. Check out a freaking uh, music venue specifically there's yeah, like a yeah. hundred awesome rock and metal bands yeah here. hit ramon up he'll have you over for dinner cook yeah. out. no yeah, he's a nice probably guy not. like that he will. probably not he hopefully will. you don't have a catastrophe <laughs> <laughs> actually if you do have a catastrophe you're on the side of the road this guy will help you he helps yeah, everyone maybe. yeah literally matt will <laughs> he he I'm heading to practice. for anybody so like the audience is like okay there's a story behind this perhaps elaborate or i have no stories he plenty doesn't of, i have plenty of stories he does I've have stories but i know specifically that he has helped people that have been like stranded on the side of the road or have busted up cars he pulls he's a good over. man he's one of these people that pulls over and helps them he has no idea who they are they could be a serial killer and this guy's like let me help you I just sell them tickets afterwards. I'm like, hey, Dude, that's a good way do to me do a it, favor. Man. Do me a solid. <laughs> I got a good show point. I'm late for because I was helping you. That's a good just idea. Kidding, just kidding. Yeah, so I totally, by the way, sorry, man, ahead, just no. catastrophe wise. Um, so uh, we were playing a Battle of the Bands down in oh, their homeland yeah. over in Safford. Or like the Stanford. Yeah, Saf- Safford, Stanford. Arizona. So yeah. Close over there. Um, so. I was running late. Unfortunately, you know, my girlfriend was flying into town and like nothing, you know, just sucks that her flight got delayed and whatnot. It was just weather, et cetera. And I did not touch that wire. I don't know why that shock thing just happened. Anyway. It's okay. um, Sorry, guys. So technical difficulties. Technical anyway, difficulties. Um, so, so now we're like, we are hauling ass to get over to the venue in time so that we can play on time, which didn't happen. But, uh, as I'm going about 73, 74 miles an hour down the 60, it's July 4th weekend, sucker. Um, yeah, I got pinched. Yep. Oh. And then I get pulled over. And but well, actually, I try to play it smooth. I'm like, I'm gonna get off at this exit. And then the cop follows me. He goes, Why'd you get off at the exit? I'm like, Well, uh, officer, I think I wanted a snack. I'm going on a road trip. He goes, oh, really? I'm like, well, yeah, I wanted a snack. We got a long trip ahead, and I got to play a show coming up. And I'm pointing at my drum equipment like, come on, man, do me a solid. I'm a musician. Yeah, he didn't care. Not to mention, uh, I, I think the cop might have been like 21 the week prior. So like, here's your ticket, sir. You know, and then... <laughs> Anyway, Sergeant Bob. Yeah, but hey, at least like at least in Arizona, you take like online traffic school. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like it like in a good way. Where like okay, cool, click, 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 done. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but three hundred dollars later, based. damn it. Uh, yeah, so yeah. it's expensive. So I guess uh, don't speed. But nonetheless, even <laughs> don't be late to gigs. Don't be late to gigs. Don't speed because it could end up causing you more delays than. What you're already late for if you are late. They were, they were cool with us pushing our set back a little further, yeah. so we got lucky there. Uh, we did get to play. Played a fun, epic show. It was a great time. Dude, played yeah. another show afterwards. Uh, and the crowd, actually, that worked out because it was like, way packed, nighttime. Yeah, nice we got some cool. really good video. Yeah. Dude, and the we had cool-ass light. fucking lights. Ramon's getting really good at editing. He's excited. Right. He's, He's excited, excited, man. He wants to plug everything. It's getting bad. Yeah, let's it's see how good bad. he is. And we're talking about catastrophes. Throwing the cats right now! <laughs> Oh, Jesus. This guy wants a cat. Maybe I'll make his face a cat. Dancing cats, please. Dancing cats. <laughs> All right. But what other, like, what other catastrophe? 
Dude, so, well, think about this way, Chris. Oh, go ahead. I'll let you finish. You never talk. <laughs> Chris wants us back on never track. never talks, all right? He's he wants to start. Track. He's like, no. well, think about this. Like, go ahead, Chris. Come like, on. The biggest thing with, the, with our attack Well, nowadays, we we're, always... We're, we're, we're talk- <laughs> we try to, like, advise other bands who are, like, watching this or, like, newer bands that are coming into the scene to, like, of things that they could look at as potential catastrophes and how to make it a better thing from that catastrophe. How, like, what are some, like, examples? I'll give you some, a perfect example. Uh, There was a band, I think, a few months ago. I can't remember the name of them. All of their equipment got burned up in their trailer. Jeez. All of it. They got in a car crash or something, and all their equipment got destroyed in their trailer. Oh, dude, like, like, this was a national band. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This wasn't local. Correct, it was a national. I don't remember who it was. was, I saw the post on Facebook. They were trying to put a bunch of... uh, Kickstarter, thi- or not Kickstarter, um, what the heck are those dang crowdsource or crowdfunding? Fund me. Go fund, go me. fund me. Go fund yeah, me. Yeah, it was a GoFundMe account. And th- what they did was they were trying to get money for their equipment because they didn't have insurance. Now, Absolute Threshold does have has insurance. insurance. <laughs> and you know why? It's because if anything happens with our equipment, it gets stolen, it gets destroyed, it gets damaged. We are covered. We have to pay a, a small, you know, deductible, and Even then our the stuff's studio. covered. But yep. that's the thing is yep. look into getting insurance for your musical equipment because this stuff's not cheap. I mean, doing being in a band and doing this is not a cheap thing. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys know as musicians, if you're watching this, you know, like, fuck, most of those posts where the drummer's carrying his entire kit in a freaking $500 car and he's got a $2,000 drum kit in there. That's pretty accurate, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and what is cheap is insurance. Insurance is cheap. I mean, ours is I relatively, I think it's like around $300 a year. We pay $300 a year, and we're covered for the year. Yeah. So I'm just saying, it's, it's one of those things. Look into that. And um, if you want more details, hit us up. Make a comment, and uh, we'll, yeah. we'll give you some Their details on where we go. finance guy will help you out. Yes. Right? Finance. Dude, we need sponsorship for that right there. Dude. We're brought to you no, by Boom. Say, what's their name? Right, what right. Use? I don't but, know, uh, but I think 15 minutes or 15 seconds, something more, will save you something, right? Mm, no. 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 <laughs> We're not doing that. Come on. Yeah. All right. I guess we, Geico's sponsor. not sponsoring us. <laughs> so anyway, it's just one of those things. Look into getting yourself insured because it can save your ass later on down the line. And, and that's part of preventing catastrophes, you know? And it's one of those things where I think that you as a band – need to discuss with your bandmates like hey guys we need to do something more we need to do something better so ooh we should talk about absolute threshold's biggest i guess catastrophe that we've ever had and that was all of us moving up here to phoenix for the band yeah. and then the core member having to leave that okay. was a big catastrophe somebody that was right at and we, and we've, spot. we've talked about this in the mm-hmm. past a little bit you know hinted on it and once again, like David, dude, thank you so much for drumming for us in the past. But at the same time, you can find new members. Yeah. Oh, hello. In fact, we're currently looking for another one because this one's broken. So uh, <laughs> Fill in my phone spot. number will be in the description below. Just hit me up. He's lying. <laughs> but no, seriously, that's the thing, too. Yeah, that, that could be a catastrophe. You could lose a core member of your it's true. band. It's true. And... And I know Jimmy hinted at this at one of our other videos, and he said, you know, if you don't continue doing this, then maybe your heart wasn't in it to begin with, you know? And that's the thing. If your heart's in it, you're going to try and find someone else to fill the shoes of the person that's leaving, you know, if, they, be, if it's that important to you. There'll be somebody that it means that much, the same amount, too, that will be out there and join you. Right? Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and the biggest Comment. thing we... Indeed. We, we ended up with... Probably one of the best fits for this band, and to be honest, like Absolute Threshold wouldn't be where it's at without Gavin. I agree, one hundred percent. Not not to make his head bigger than it already is. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Boom! No, it's great. Like he was a great addition to us. He he actually changed our sound, Mm -hmm. and it's been great. I really enjoy it. Yeah, but, like, yeah, you guys were the right fit for me, though, too, where it was, like, I'm like, oh, I know, right? Big hug. But, like, no, seriously, I was like, oh, these guys, this is the direction I want to go. They know what's up. And then, like, the epicness. And And then you joined. Worked out perfect. 
After Starbucks. Right? Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I met these guys at Starbucks after, like, Craigslist. It was, like, an awkward internet date where it's like, hi, oh, it's you, go. hey. Want to go jam back yeah. at your place? Shit, I got go catfish. To a public place. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet him uh, at a public place so we don't have to meet him here just right? in case he's psycho. No, no. We're so afterwards, he doesn't look like, like his picture. Go away. Right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, like I said, guys, we want to say, like, be careful and make sure you guys take care of your equipment, take care of your bandmates, and, and make sure your heart is in this. I mean, those, take care of your those heart. three things will take prevent... Care of your, right? catastrophes i mean you got to be not in necessarily in the moment but you got to be in the moment if that Sweet. makes sense can someone take care of this bandmate maybe uh, hook me up with a kill lifter oh, hey, oh. Get him a kill lifter. <laughs> while, while you're getting that i just want to talk about when you first hit me up of uh, meeting you to be in the band and um i was relaying the information to these guys because i got like four or five requests that day and everybody that hit me up seemed they were like well I'm already in, like, five bands, and, like, I can't dedicate a lot of time, so I, like, wouldn't even bother. You're the only one that was, like, gung-ho of, like, it sounded like you just wanted to be a member and do this full-time. And so, like, at the practice, I was like, yeah, this guy, his name's, like, Gavin Dalloway. And, <laughs> and uh, I looked up one of his band's videos, and I think he's, like, 48 years old. I, I don't know. Like, we should probably meet this guy at Starbucks. We'll see how it goes. I... I uh, that's funny. <laughs> Gavin is like. Don't let the hairline you. fool you. The hairline. It's a hairline. Yeah. So look at Jimmy. He needs sure. bosses. Jimmy. But We're anyway, guys. So once again, brothers. I want to say like, hey, thank you guys so much, man. I really absolutely appreciate everything you guys are doing for us watching this and dude getting getting our messages out there you know and I know we're always talking about serious shit all the time you know it's one of those things where trust me. Funny stuff is coming because we're getting closer and closer to being done explaining and telling you guys about stuff that we think is really important and bands need to know about it. Absolutely. So believe me, the funny stuff is com- <laughs> coming. Like that. <laughs> There's another fail. <laughs> yeah. Um, Imagine that all fell over like a live catastrophe and then like, oh, dude, irony. Oh. Good thing we're insured. All right. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> After you've been watching this video, though, hit up my hit up my Holy GoFundMe. Holy crap! Did you just see that shit? Okay, anyway, hit, hit up my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe going right now for Bosley. Bosley, so, <laughs> the speakers, please. Bosley, yeah, Bosley speakers. That's Bose. I know. <laughs> the L silence. I need help. I'm 25, people. Please. But as you guys can uh, see, we. Stop pulling us back on track, no, Chris. No, 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 it's no, man. No. Frustrating. He, like, he pulls I, us I was going to bring up time. the fact that like, every single week we like to talk about local shows that are going to be coming up this weekend that are local. Mm-hmm. And so that's the thing. We're going to talk about some local shows coming up by Mr. Soundphoria himself. Jonah and by the way, totally just, totally. A, just a little tidbit. Possibly soon, Soundphoria is going to be making upcoming show videos or presentations talking about local scene. Gavin? Thanks, Ramon. Actually, yeah, as a matter of fact, I think uh, I'm actually working with a couple different local musicians. Uh, my buddy Joe Bertucci from Ashes of the Dead, we should be working on uh, kind of like a weekly promo- like promotion of what's going on in the scene, local shows, yada, yada, like what's going on, who's dropping different albums, and keeping people informed because I feel like it's just a good way, like there should be some sort of video media going on informing everyone because i mean like you get a little desensitized to all right you get facebook events let's figure maybe it's something new so we're gonna try it out if it works great and guess oh, what yeah. we're gonna post it here on attack all right so that way you're gonna get the information from him you're gonna get the information from us and wait guys i just realized what, what? we have no band this week oh, wait we do Ooh. what who I'm actually serious. Really no, you're really like I have no idea. We don't know. No, I hear a band down the hall. Are you just trying to think of one? Real quick? <laughs> no, no. Listen, Wait. guys, I know, I know we are trying to get bands in here, and guess what? No one's hit us up. Where are you, bands? We need you. That's not true, here. dude. That's I true. talked to like That's five true. bands that are totally down. I guess what? Gavin has anything. the bands. They're just not dude, here tonight. Not but tonight, but we will. Blocking. They will be here. We will. So yeah. tonight we're gonna feature again well, the best band that I know. 
absolute threshold. Oh. Boom! Oh, oh, my God. oh, it all comes around. Hey, when were you dropping this, by the way? This will be dropped Friday. Friday? Yes, because it's Wednesday today. Okay, it's Friday. Oh, okay, because I want to plug uh, you had Two in the Chest. They're playing Two in the uh, Chest over at Club Tazek with Beauty and the Suffering and uh, Zombies to Town. That's over at Club Tazek Friday night, Zombies. 7 p.m. Flyer. Flyer. Gavin, Boom. we just need some flyers and we'll put them all up right here, man. Right? Yeah, I would totally do. And then what else is going down? Uh, Scott Rose, Alice Cooper tribute with uh, Mr. Skinner. Scott Rose, a very cool guy, by the way. Actually, Scott hung out with them Rose. at uh, at uh, Rock and Ricky Radio uh, over at um, what's that? Oh. Yeah, but, yeah I was hanging out with them in sixth grade over <laughs> at uh, <laughs> <laughs> throwing them off. Yeah, no, over at Georgian Dragon, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 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 Erica, she does a really cool radio show over there too. Um, and then Rock and Ricky. Yeah, a few other things. Palo Verde Lounge, you got Cutthroat Gorgeous, Existence AD, Long Since Dead, Death Ride. That's over at Palo Verde Lounge, if I'm not mistaken. That might be an Adam Spleen Karma show. Like, Spleen does uh, immortalized productions, and that guy, he does really a really hell of a good job. That guy does a lot to promote in the scene. And then, uh, yeah, well, what else is coming up? I mean, nationally, you got Prophets of Rage. I might... Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be huge. Rage yeah, Against yeah. the that's Machine. And, uh, I, I, I don't know. I've heard mixed reactions on Me it. Me too. Like, I kinda, it, really? I've got a ticket. Like, I want to, like, crutch my gimp ass over Wait, there. Is that but what they're calling themselves now? Or is that the Prop- name of the, the, show. The, the, show. the show? It's the show. Prophets, oh, okay. Is that it? Yeah, it's Cypress Prophets Hill. of Rage is the show. Yeah, it's just the name of the show. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's still Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, and Cypress Hill and... Hey, and I know I know we're talking about shows right now. Dude, there's a fucking local band that is opening for Seven Dust. That's right. Do you guys Sick know who this is? If you don't Monic. know, God, you guys are missing out. Sick Monic, all right? Check these guys Marky out. These guys theater. are fucking amazing. And, uh, dude, let me tell you, they're oh, opening yeah. up for Seven Dust, and I believe Gemini. I think that's the other Gemini Syndrome. Syndrome. Gemini Syndrome. So, yes. dude, it's going to be an amazing show. So, oh, yeah. hit those Hit guys them up, up for man. tickets. Get hit them tickets. up for tickets. Their fucking there. guitarist that looks like a Garth from Wayne's World is yeah. a fucking wizard. <laughs> he is a fucking guitar wizard. You've never seen anything like this. Guy's name's Ray Goodwin. Never, ever. Ray Goodwin, man. Yeah. Nicest guy. Fucking, like, Ray, you you got to check Goodwin. it out. Zach Sewell. I am happy are, that I've met Ray awesome. because he, like, He's so good. I feel like he would make Ingvay Momstein say, "Damn!" Like, yeah. like he's oh, like yeah. that no. good. Like, and so humble too. But like, yeah. so he's excellent when he yeah. plays the violin or the piano. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's yeah. He's amazing. Incredible. So, anyway, you guys, a walking legend. So and then I know you know, we're going the off band, like, yeah. the band, Sick Monic. Get back so, on track. Like, exactly. yeah, get back on track. We need someone on, to mediate. We need someone to mediate this. Bro, we need like a whistle, right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he needs to wear like a rough shirt next right? time. Right? Rough shirt next time. <laughs> All right, one other thing too. Sunday they have a final hour booking presents Scott Still Metal Fest. That's going down over at the Rogue Bar, which was actually the last show that we played. Rogue. Yeah. yeah. And dude, last thing too is dude Dust Bowl Metal. Show. 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 What about it? Yes. Dude, check, check them out. out, man. Check them out. Check They're out that. They're running 24 Lord hours knows. a day now. Right. I did not yeah. know. Also, check out that metalstation.com as well. You know, shout out to Walt. And, yeah, just shout out to the whole scene. You know, there's a lot of good shows coming up. You know, Sabbath's coming to town. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it on that. So uh, keep an eye out for that sound for your music moment. What's up, Phoenix? This is Gavin with Soundphoria Media, here to promote the local shows and what's going on throughout the valley. Hey everybody, this is Joe with Soundphoria Media. Thursday, September 22nd at legendary local venue Joe's Grotto, we got Roddy Christ, Barack Andre, Necronomicon, Six Million Dead, Ashes of the Dead, and Autolysis all playing in one venue. Pre-sale tickets are 20 bucks. Hit up each of the bands for pre-sale tickets. And you make sure you want to get out there and check those guys in Ashes of the Dead. They're pretty sweet. Coming up on September 23rd, got my boys, the Exile Martyr. They're going to be playing over at Pub Rock with Bungler, Lifelink, Withered Bones, Sundressed, and Alaska. So that'll be coming to you live from Pub Rock. That's over in Scottsdale. 
Tickets are available at each respective fan site. Contact any member of Exile Martyr if you need those tickets right away. New show we got going on here. I want to bring you some of the local shows we have coming up in the Valley this weekend. First show coming up that I could think about, The Tangle Calvary, brought to you by 13th Floor Entertainment. It's going to be playing at Club Red, and you can go over there and you can check out Death Grip, Insight, Sharon, Sharon, My Bad, I Can't Figure It Out, Incentive, and also Nephilim. Hit up any of the local bands to get a pre-sale ticket to support the local scene. And of course, on September 21st, it is the end for Black Sabbath. It's their final tour. They're playing at Auction Pavilion. You gotta be at that. Oh man, legends. Sunday, September 25th at Joe's Grotto also happening. We got Cataclysm with Locust Dawn, Dirt Over Lime, Violent Revolution, and Born of Winter. You can hit up any of those bands also for pre-sale tickets on their local Facebook pages or any of the local media, ReverbNation.com. We want to thank you for coming out and sticking around with these local shows because every time you come out and donate to the cause, you're seriously helping a local band support what they believe in and trying to become to the next level. Don't forget all these big bands you go and see were at one time local too, so please, please buy a ticket and support your local scene. Thank you. Saturday, September 24th, they have what's called In the Name of Metal. That's with Downhill Trend, St. Madness, my friends in Expansion Theory, and Button Face. That's going down over at Pranksters 2 in Scottsdale. Also going down at the Marquee Theater Saturday night, September 24th, we have Soundman Kills playing alongside Trivium and Sabaton. It's going to be an awesome show as well. Big show coming up on the horizon. That would be October 22nd over at the Marquee Theater. Phoenix's very own Sick Monic will be playing alongside some call us heroes. That'll be over at the Marquee Theater with none other than Seven Dust, Gemini Syndrome, and Red Sun Rising. Contact your local bands for your tickets. Support your local scene. Here at Soundphoria, what's really important to us is also just about connecting the music scene. It's about building a community. Uh, big shout out to Rich over at the Dust Bowl Metal Show.com. Check that out. That's every Thursday. Uh, shout out to SofaKingRadio.com. Uh, Erica's got a great show Sunday nights. Uh, also, big shout out to Walt over at ThatMetalStation.com. Check that out. They're all on Facebook as well. And uh, just check it out. Support your scene, all right? Without the local scene, I mean, what do you have? Thanks. That's, That's right. right. And like I said, that, once, once they start, start doing, doing these, we're, we're going to be putting them here in the video. video. So. so. But the biggest thing I, I, I want to say before we end the show, show today, local, local bands, bands, we definitely want you guys to come in here. We want to showcase you. We want to bring you into our community, community so that way we can interact you with our, with our, with our friends and our family. Just so you, know, know, you can hit us up on Facebook. You can hit us up on our website. You can hit us up on Twitter. We're on all of those. Just hit us up. Oh. <laughs> there is you're, you're on live. You're on the air. You're, you're on, on the air. air. You're on the air. Are you still practicing? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Let's, Let's talk, talk about commitments, commitments <laughs> on the next episode. <laughs> commitments. Multiple next commitments. Episodes. All right. All right. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen thank, you thank you again so much for joining us. us. And, and we really, really appreciate you guys watching these things. things. And, and dude, if you guys have a specific topic you want us to cover, dude, comment down below. Right here. Down below. And, dude. Like, like and, and subscribe. All right, I was beating Gavin, Gavin to the punch there. there. So, and and like and give subscribe. Give us a thumbs up too. Oh, oh, like dude, thumbs. like that thing, man. And, and horns, horns up. Watch it yeah. a lot. Watch, Watch these things a lot, dude. We want tons of views. And, and share, share it with your family, your friends, and everyone, and everyone in the scene. scene. All right, you guys, you guys have, have a great night. night and uh, peace. Wait, what song are we playing? Yeah, what song are we playing before we take off? Hurry up. As one. As one. I'm not going to be as one. This is as one. It's a catastrophe, man. What are you going to be? No, it's not. It's about helpless. All right. As one. It's going to be helpless. All right. Hey!